Hey. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we don't do that. welcome back to another episode of the Mud Political Podcast, where we talk about everything, never scared of anything, and we always for the culture. culture I go by the name of Kayla Pred. Jay's here. Courtney's here. Sound Man is here. Sound Manning. And we got Deja. I don't know, man. I still don't have what a moniker for her, bro. Because you knew what I was going to say. Like, Deja making us look good right now. I don't know how to fuck. I got to give you a fucking slogan, my nigga. I mean, like, she, I don't... she making us look extra dirty. Fuck it. I what? That's not a good... It's, is that? Know, but it's a good thing, though, because she's dirty. You know what I'm saying? It damn. Was... They've never seen her. I mean, so you know, now now, now they're going to be like, damn, they really got this dirty motherfucker up in here, bro? Oh, sure she take baths? Shit. You, you sure? I mean, I hope so. Shit. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't even mean that. It's gonna be blurry as shit. This whole <laughs> <laughs> this shit gonna be blurry to the motherfucker, bro. How y'all living though, man? I'm Gucci, man. We good. I'm Gucci. We good. You know hey, this you, nigga. Bro, you missed the last one. He did, right? man. You all right? I was busy. I was I'm just. He asking was bu- He was busy. He was too busy to talk to y'all guys. I ain't think we was doing the fucking pod. Shit. This nigga didn't even shit. know the schedule. I nigga, didn't. you ain't know it either. Shit. I didn't either. You hit but, us with that, so it was gonna be a great show today, guys. I'm like, yep, still oh, sure did. We got the fucking pod today. I still showed up, bro. You did. I mean, you did. That's you did still show up. Clutch, nigga. You know what I'm saying? She said the moment was too big for him. Pissed down his leg. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you tell tell me. Hey, but I'm here today for the finale. Yeah, man. We've been, we've been hitting this uh, this toxic relationship. Last week, man, was good. We we had we had a uh, had a guest on, man. Uh, Nigga she, Avery. She, yeah, Avery. Avery came through and she talked about. She talked about a whole bunch of shit, honestly, man. Because she date both men and women, so mm. you know it was a whole lot of shit going on, Interesting. man. Yeah, I don't know if that's greed or not, though. I, you know what I'm saying? That just seemed a little greedy. Like, ah, damn, damn greedy, you know what I'm saying? Bro. You can just fuck everybody. Basically, everybody's up for up for grabs, like That's pretty much. Shit, I don't know, man. She Women, eat booty too. Hmm? hmm. You said what did he say? Huh? This nigga asked if she eat booty, bro. This nigga wild. Huh? She probably does, man. You want to call her and find out? Now, I mean, it was just a question. I didn't ask a that specific. Doing it I didn't ask that specific yeah. question, man. You never ate booty. Here we go. Every grown he man. Paused. He did it. Every grown man, when you get to a certain age. You have to step into ass eating territory. We, can't talk about this yet. we did talk about this shit <laughs> yesterday, bro. <laughs> bro, we had a long conversation. Well, we did. Shit, we bro. had a we had an in depth deep deep dive pause I on was, uh I was, eating ass. <laughs> I was in traffic, bro. We was, <laughs> bro. I mean, <laughs> honestly though, boring? nah. But think about it. When you get past a certain age, man, mm-hmm. you're gonna have to be a little nastier mm-hmm. because. You know, when you like twenty years old, you know you you can fuck for hours. You get a little older, can't do, do it. That. Different. Can't do that. You got about five hey, out of me. Hey, you live in foreplay. <laughs> foreplay is your lame, bro. Yeah. Look, man, look, she's not gonna think about how long I am or am not fucking her if she have convulsions before this shit start. You see what I'm saying? You just gotta play the game, dog. You gotta yeah. play it. every. Think about it. every old nigga you know is nasty as shit. I mean, of course. All nasty as fuck, man. You ain't never got damn had a bitch around this. I'm like, what the fuck? No, oh, okay. I have never heard of that before. <laughs> bad boy, they bitch. doing that? <laughs> nasty as shit, bro. I mean, that's, yeah. yeah. You know? Damn. You think about it, yeah. I'm be honest. Nasty, nasty, nasty. My whole mentality on ass eating has shifted in the last, like, couple years of my life, man. Because before, I was like, what the fuck would anybody do that nasty shit? Fuck that. And I was like, damn. Just wait till you hit 30. As long as they bathe first. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> You're not getting the 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 whole day. No, you got to take a shower. You, you know, oh, yeah, you bitch come through after That's having right. a whole a whole day of work. Mm-mm, you can't do that. But if oh, you're yeah. from Florida, you might like that. Or if you're a Q, damn. Just saying, Ooh, bro. Q's love eating sweaty we, ass. They we eat know anything. we know a Q. That nigga ended up on uh, what was it? Media takeout. Oh no, doing what? Eating a bitch ass in the club, bro. <laughs> that sounded about right, bro. And we knew it was that nigga, bro. Oh, oh I know no. Because we saw the back of his head. Like, bro, it looked just like that nigga. And That's I asked terrible. him. That nigga got upset. He like, no, nigga, that was not me. He asked him, nigga. No, <laughs> it was about? not me. I know. That ain't me. Like, Damn. bitch, I know the back of your head, bro. I know it, and I know the club you was at. It, like, damn, you used to invite us. I all know the time. it was him. I'm bro. just, I'm just trying to that, figure out who are the, who are the, who are the girls, who are the hoes that are like willing to get their ass ate openly in a club. In a club, you know, like how does that, <laughs> like, mean, how do you, how do you give consent for that? How do you even proposition the bitch for some shit like that? You know, hey, like, hey, uh, why would you just, why would you do that? Period. In the 
Club. Hey man, look man. I've been see, I've seen shit. it at like fucking like frat parties. And niggas do that weird shit. Bathroom but... then wipe your ass good. Like why? And you just... Wow, wow. You in the club? You made that disgusting. Extra disgusting. I... Hey, how we <laughs> get on? Piece of tissue how on we this? get on this? <laughs> how we get on this? <laughs> and we supposed to be on? Uh, bro, this nigga said a piece of tissue. Yeah, bro, this shit, that shit, shit bro. bro. Nah, man. Nah, I know bro, nah, nah. We, we we're talking about something different. I don't even know how we got on this toxic relationships, That's guys. We got to finish up this series. This is the font. This is a finale of that of the toxic shit, relationship same. series. Good, bad, and ugly. Uh, the first episode we talked about the what? Uh, the first relationship that turns into savages, right? We went through that whole chronicle, man. Goddamn the next episode it was about uh, what the fuck was that next episode about? Goddamn, uh, goddamn. Uh, we we talked. We definitely talked what about. Made us- what what female makes us better? Yeah, like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Well, when times that we've changed to fit, you know, relationships yeah. when we probably shouldn't have, or or times that you know may have improved and us. Our regrets and shit. Right. Uh, last episode we talked about the miscommunications between the sexes that lead to toxicity. Ugh. Right. And today, man, I think we got to we got to just step right in and bring it more current, more and more full circle. We got to talk about the situations that uh, you know, you know, we're older now, right? Hence our preferences of ass eating now. You know, we're older now. We've grown up a little bit. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm telling you, uh, we we kind of have better way of identifying, you know, what's toxic before it hits us in the face like it did maybe in the past. Right. So my question, I think what we got to go, go through here is what are the red flags, man? What are the red flags that you notice when you notice them? Right. And how do you maneuver when you when you pick up pick up on them, right? You know what I'm saying? What's the biggest red flag. You know what is your biggest red flag, Jay? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Bitch, pull up on you too many times. Red flag. I hate Ooh, that. Bro. I hate that. I mean, when, when a bitch say I ain't never done this before, shut up. <laughs> 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 Yes, like yeah. the way. Hey, red flag when like, you if the first time you have this sex. Is my first time. She bitch. said it. I don't. First of all, I, if a, it's the first time you ever fuck, and she said it's yours, I don't need you to tell me it's mine See, yet. We just uh, did this the first time. This has only been a couple weeks. What are we doing this? Up. Don't 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 tell me that. Or you're lying she, to or me. Or she about to? You're lying. If she about that's, to top. That's a, oh, this shit yours. Her, no, the fuck, it's not. That's what a huge I'm lie. Just if, she, if she about to top you off, and then she just get real nasty out of nowhere, <laughs> and it spit everywhere, you like, bitch. God, all right, oh, okay. You've God done damn, this bro. You don't got a goddamn. You don't got to play. I know, gotta... I know you've done this shit several exactly. times. They be lying. They some of the biggest up. Yo, so the, 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 I, don't, I don't normally do this. The, I don't normally yeah, do I this. I don't do this. Oh, okay, but you're doing it. That's usually a lie. It's, 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 that, that's almost always a lie. Okay. How many times you said that? They, you don't have to answer that. You don't have to answer that. They used... <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to say it. You got to answer that. You don't got to answer that. <laughs> she said, where is the mic? <laughs> I need the rogue mic, goddamn. I mean, the hot I, mic. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I mean, yeah, that's one. Of, that's one. Of what about? What do you think, though? Not, not the biggest. Oh, uh, what is my biggest God. red flag, bro? Because there's so many to account it is, for, bro. It's, I mean, you know, you know, one. you you know when 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 they be lying to you, mm-hmm. and you know, you just peep. You you could peep different move. You could you could peep how they move. Okay. When women start moving differently, mm-hmm. especially mm. in the beginning. Okay. Explain. Like when, say you start talking to a girl, and she 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 trying to act like she all exclusive and shit. Okay. Or trying to take it there. Like a school. Oh, like, like she's like she like she's acting like y'all together already. Right. Mm. But like then, y'all go together. Yeah. But then, like so I had this shit happen before. Uh oh. Hell no. I be fucked up. The, I, I'm talking to this girl. And she, I go to her house, and she tell me, "Well, I left something at my homegirl house. I gotta go get it. I left my my uh, birth control pills over there. At your homegirl house, bitch. That's a lie. <laughs> uh, straight up lie, bitch. I mean, I guess that's possible, but that sounds like a weird Bruh, what place that is to not leave it. Possible. Why? Why did you bring them with you? Why? Why would your birth control pills be at your homegirl? For what? But what? I, what and I mean, and I and I asked Shawty that shit, and, and she just sat up there and looked at me. Was she, 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 was she even stand there or something? Like, no, bro. She went to a nigga house. <laughs> <laughs> but then but I'm just trying to figure out because you know the way birth control works. You know, you don't have to take it with you. You just take it in general. Exactly. <laughs> that's what the fuck. You don't got it. I don't know the bitch. Thought I was it's not like you take it before lies. you have sex. Like you just leave that bruh, shit. In the house. I don't know if she thought I was stupid or what, but you know, though, bro. 
it just be so many women out here that just be saying dumb ass, yeah, be stupid, as shit. stupid ass fucking lies, bro. For so no like, reason. so like outrageous lies. Outrageous. That's dumb that's a red lies. flag, then. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, outrageous lies. I got okay. my shit. What's that? Finally found it. What's that? When you get, you know, either go to their house or you get in their car for the first time, and that bitch dirty as fuck. I know you don't have good hygiene. That's one of my biggest fucking red <laughs> I know you don't wash your it's, pussy good. Uh, I know. It's, it's I know. The, it's, it's I know. The, yeah, it's, it's the it's the bathroom. You know, that you ever too? go to a girl's house with the bathroom the dirty? Oh, my God. Bro, with the bathroom dirty, bro, it's like. Nigga, don't lift I probably shouldn't be here. Don't lift up the and toilet. And the fucking seat. bath, uh, the bedroom uh, door closed, you know it's dirty as fucking that motherfucker. Yeah. You can tell when bitches just cleaned up their house. Yeah, I walked, in, I walked in the girl house, bro. It just smelled like blacks. I was See? like, I can't be here, bro. I can't be here, bro. Oh, bro. I can't be here. I got another one. Oh, my God. I know you don't I got have another one, bro. <laughs> I was dating this girl when I was working in Carrollton. Yeah. And we went out to a Mexican restaurant in Cedartown. Okay. I don't know why the fuck I went to Cedartown. Fuck is Cedartown? Bro, that shit that. is north of Carrollton. Oh, it's in the yeah, fucking yeah, country. Nick Chubb is from there. Damn. Country as fuck. Oh, that's why you run like that. Country bar. Yeah. yeah. So we in the Mexican restaurant, and she ordered like two or three pitchers of beer, and she drank more than me. Oh, yeah, you did tell me that. <laughs> Nigga, that. Bro, at, red flag, after that. Like to drink beer. No. It was excessive. <laughs> so any woman that likes beer that much, oh, bro, I, I just clearly, I just stopped talking to her, bro. It was too much. I mean, you that's can, a lot of yeast. I feel like a you whole know. lot, bro. <laughs> that's a nigga, lot of we yeast, bro. In the, bro. I had to piss. It's like, gotta go somewhere. I don't fucking know. Times and she just sat at the table like wasn't shit wrong with her. I mean, like that. Bro. That's what she does, bro. She drinks a couple yeah. pitchers of beer a day. Yeah, yeah that's what she that's did. That's how she I did. Mean, and she... I was like, no, nah, I can't. I can't. Quarter shot to that. finish. Like, I, I might like somebody to do that. No, look at hey. you. Look at you. She said, I need no, me man, a drinking buddy. Bro. No, I, I bet you I, don't. As long as you drink your water, you know. You it was no fruits. water. It was no fruit. Oh, oh man. I thought it was cool too. I was like, yo, you drink <laughs> beer? Might I be a little funky down there. Wait, you? We can hang out and shit. Right. Piss might be green. Nah, it was it was too much, bro. That piss, that piss is purple, guys. That shit's dark as that shit. That shit bro. burning like a motherfucker. That, that shit look no like, water, bro. That shit look like Yingling, bro. <laughs> <laughs> God, get it, nigga. She was pissing Yingling, nigga. I ain't. Mm, God I ain't. damn. And I, a motherfucker to drink that much beer. I know it's not top quality beer. No, that's like what was it? What was it? That's Bud like Light, worse, like Miller Light or something. Yeah, shit. Miller Light, Bud Light, Bud Weezer. Well, they're not sponsoring us, so fuck that. Keep it. Yeah. Oh damn, fuck these niggas. <laughs> Right. Pay us. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. You know, so I don't know. My my red flag. Oh, What's up? This, no, no, go ahead. Say it, say it, say it, say it. All say, it. Say, it, say, it <clears throat> say it, say it, say it. Oh, this just my uh, best friend. Oh, the girl who has a guy friend that's a little I, too I, close. I like, all I hang out is with niggas. You know, bitches. That is a red flag. That is, that is a, a fucking red, red flag. flag. Too much. Yes. That's a fucking red flag. Like, oh, you ain't got know, no female you friends. You ran through in it, bitch. Shut up. You ain't got no female friends, cause that's true. Cause that's if you get with her, right if there. you get with her, you know that the niggas that if you hang around any of her people, you know at least somebody in hitting this room. Fucking, it's like not even if they currently doing it, but like they cause, done. Cause it. we know dudes, dudes It'll don't be trying again. to you get hit once, you can hit twice. No, no offense, ladies, we don't be really trying to just like be friends with y'all. I'm gonna be honest. I mean, at least in my life, I've noticed, I haven't noticed a whole lot of dudes that just go out and try to just be the best of friends with as many women as possible. That's usually not how that shit works out. Usually that shit happens because niggas end up being friends with this girl because you know she ain't gonna give him no pussy. So it's like I guess we gotta. Be, this but they is, know that I guess day. we gotta be friends then. Shit, it wasn't because it or, wasn't because we chose to be platonic. If it was up to us, we'd be able to hit all our female friends for the most part. Or they besides, gave, you know, or they gave him some pussy and then y'all just felt yeah, this is what it is. Y'all just never talk about that shit again. <laughs> you see how it go. <laughs> it will get. Like, y'all still cool. Y'all just don't talk cool. about that shit. That, that, that one drunk kickback night. Yep. Where you just end up clapping her. It's like, damn. You wake yep. up like, ah, yeah. damn, we fucked up. Yeah, we Ooh, fucked up. Boy, you wake up. You wake uh. up and you look at the ring. You're like, damn, how the fuck? They <laughs> <laughs> how the fuck these two get in the bed with me? Ah, right, damn. Oh, two, two. Oh, mm. Let me fucking go outside Ooh, real quick. Let's act like this never happened, y'all. Yep. Oh, yeah. That's how you got to do but it. You got to have a conversation afterwards. You do. I mean, you got a, not a big conversation. No, you man. do. You got <laughs> a big conversation. Everybody got to come it's together real, if and they have real an agreement. Cool, we all got to cool agree with the story. We better yeah, tell everybody. <laughs> no, you, a story you don't tell people. That's a fact. Exactly. <laughs> hey, let's act like this didn't happen. Yep. Exactly. But yeah, that's one of the top red flags there. That's a, damn, that's, that's a, a good one, bro. Yeah, that's a top one. 
that's that's, that's, the top. that's a good. That's everybody, a t- every every male can relate to that. That's mm-hmm. a good one. Even females can relate to that. You know what's fucked up, man? My red flag ain't even they fault. My red flag ain't even they fault at all, bro. I'm just saying, bro. Like when you be like, yeah, you know, like when I learn that she's never had any male paternal figures, like from an uncle to a dad or nothing. I'm like, oh, man, it makes sense. Oh, the women with daddy issues. <sighs> ah, that's a big red flag. You know, that's what? that's like the worst, and it's not even they fault, but it's like I get it. You can't make your dad be here. You can't whatever. Yeah. You can't make yourself have that that around you. But like, but when they take the it second out on I, you though. Well, I already know That's how it's going to go. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I already know you don't probably know how to like really deal with men like that often. You know what I'm saying? Because you, did, you never really had to. So I, I don't even want to. I'm like, oh, fuck. So here we go this again. Bro, for some reason, I just attracted women with daddy issues. Yeah, me bro. too. That's because you was looking for them in bars, nigga. <laughs> I no, I ain't never looked for no looking woman for in no goddamn bar. Bars. You was never, you wasn't in the library finding hoes, bro. You was, he was out, he was out and about, bro. Hoes? I found one in the library one time. Did you? Hell yeah. Was she actually smart? Uh, no, yeah, he paused. Yeah. She, she was in there getting extra help. Yeah, she you. was, she was just in there it. just to go to a quiet place and do mm-hmm. work. Mm-hmm. That's all. I caught her in one of them study rooms. So here's the thing. Have you ever, how would you navigate this now? So if you had one of these red flags, but you didn't notice it, it didn't come up before, but y'all already together, you're already in a relationship. How do we navigate that now? If all of a sudden you start to realize you're in a relationship, damn, you really don't have any female friends. Like, wait, oh, damn, you really. Oh, you talking about female friends? Uh, you talking about daddy issues? I'm talking, talking any about? of them, any of the red flags we just oh, mentioned. I mean, navigate that daddy issue shit. Um. I mean, you can't do shit was, about that. That's you what I'm saying. You like, can't you, do, do shit about it. Do you just leave? You just walk it's out? Like, you well, just try your yeah. best, you know, but it's nothing really you could do about it, it's especially if they ground it and, and where they at and they don't give a fuck and ain't trying to change their views. My daddy wasn't here. I'm going to treat you like like him. It's like, it's nothing you could do about that shit. Yeah. At all. And I don't feel, I feel like I, I feel like I'm probably picking on the women a lot when I say daddy issues, but niggas be having daddy issues too. I mean, That's what yeah. we talk about. Oh, it. Yeah. Niggas be having hella dad issues, bro. I'm yeah. like, God damn, bro. Like, your daddy just didn't give a fuck. I see. Mm, yeah. I know a nigga like that. What's going on? Look, look, look at TJ, man. man. TJ got his hand up. I know a nigga with daddy issues. The nigga might be sitting on the couch. Oh, I know I had daddy issues. Had? Oh, I got him no more. You, I'm what, fucking 31 you, now. Why you, the fuck? You, you lost him? You let him go? I mean, did you, did you did you go to therapy through him or you just decided to then they used seek to, counsel at then the they bottom used to of the bottle? Then you used to take three shots and be like, you know what? Fuck Tony, man. <laughs> 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 this is true. Uh, like, fuck, fuck that nigga Tony, this man. This is true. Never did shit for me. Like, hey, like, man, it happens, man. I mean, you get to an age where it's like, nigga, man, you 25, you know, bro. It's like, fuck it. I'm at the age. Like, I had it. My thing is, yeah. I was holding something against some person that didn't give a fuck about me. Why am I giving a fuck about you? So at the end of the day, I got older. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to forgive you for what the fuck you did. And I told mm-hmm. him to his face. I'm like, after this conversation, it is what it is. If you're going to be there, you're not. I hit you up. You're supposed to come to here, there, come to the play, the fucking screen. And if you don't make it, I'm not holding against you. You stuck your ways. Good riddance. Mm-hmm. I actually talk. like that, though, man. You already know that nigga is. Shit. Oh, yeah. I like that. Fuck. He need come, level... he come my baby fucking uh, baby shower. He sure did. He damn sure did. All my sisters is there, but. Yeah, no, he was at the baby shower. I mean, not the baby shower. He definitely uh, fucking hurt her, her one year birthday party. So, yeah, yeah. that nigga wasn't there. I ain't give a fuck. Didn't bother me. All your like, sisters was there. Oh, oh yeah. God was... damn, nigga. Woo. Everybody, Shit. Let's all talk about I'm glad Courtney's, I like this nigga, man. Courtney's thick ass sister. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> Thick as shit, boy. What the fuck? <laughs> Man, that girl got up, bro. I saw a goddamn boom, boom. That shit was just what? It was going like this. And she was just standing there, bro. <laughs> it was moving, but she was still. I don't know what happened. Like she had spinners, bro. But like she had spree wells. <laughs> she had spree wells, bro. Uh, forget, forgive him. He been drinking uh, jungle juice. Uh, he been on the jungle juice. This part today is sponsored to you by Damn. Jungle Juice. <laughs> I was saying that shit when I was drinking water for all your for all your alcoholic needs. <laughs> Damn, man, God. Damn, when they see this shit, it's gonna Need be a banner that comes up. Nah, man, I'm I'm just playing. You know, y'all family. <laughs> nigga, you wasn't playing this nigga tripping, bro. <laughs> I kind of like what you said though, bro, because you said something that it hinted towards like forgiveness. Yeah, right. Got to. Mm-hmm. Basically, what you talk about is forgiveness, right? You got to. You know what? But here's the thing: when it comes to like even like toxic traits, right? Because that's mm-hmm. the toxic relationship you're really talking about there too. That's part of it. 
yeah. you know what I'm saying? And that contributes to how you probably have, you know, interacted with people, men or pe- people down the line, you know, at some point in your life. I'm sure it has, yeah. you know. So that's the funny thing, right? So when you have these toxic traits that we deal with from people, and depending on what it is, you know, are these are there any unforgivable ones? Go ahead, TJ. Go ahead. What's TJ got? I got a good one. What's up? Um, when people always play the victim and blame everybody else I think for I'm their doing issues, that's, their that's suffering. a good one, bro. On that one. That's, that's a good fucking good one, man. That's a fucking great one. Damn. They refuse to take responsibility for themselves and their actions. They always blame this. everyone else around the world. Mm-hmm. Really- and always play the victim. Yeah. That's the number one red flag for me. Around That's like a that. good one if you don't have that introspection. Yeah. Because it, 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 you know, it's, it's hard to sit in a room with yourself and think about the bullshit you do. You know what I mean? And most people don't do that because that shit's hard, right? But what you got, Cuzzo? We'll oh, get you in a second, bro. We got you. Dumb, man. don't never say shit. I got you, man. You say you want to what? He's, he got a red oh. flag, too. This is the red flag. It's funny that Mike read, too. Yeah, man. It's the it's hot mic. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. So all the people that want to be toxic, thinking it's cool. Mm. El- explain, it elaborate yeah, on that. Elaborate on, elaborate on that, man. Because that's some fucked up shit. Yeah. My past situations, I've been dating females that they be like, I'm crazy. I'm like, no, you're not. I've seen crazy. Mm-hmm. A girl will block me. One girl really blocked me because I needed a date of myself to get my personal things going oh. right. straight. Mm-hmm. So she really thought I was cheating. One of them. Oh. So she, she was one of them. Yeah. <clears throat> you should have been glad she blocked. They all gonna ass. think that, bro. Shit. You, if you if you don't text back in two seconds, <laughs> they you all cheat. gonna think that shit. Well, damn, nigga, that's that's how you feel. She that's how it happens for your life. No, I'm just saying that's how females be thinking. Yeah. I don't know. We have females in this room. They probably like these niggas is lying. Look at she's just like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> like want to burn your clothes. They burnt your clothes, bro. Oh damn! You had real toxic, crazy Who motherfucker. Burned your clothes. God damn. I want to hop on your car and shit. Well, damn, bro. You know who I'm talking about? No. Jay, Jay, no. Jay, no. Jumping on the. <laughs> Jay, you, ain't you ain't going, going nowhere. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. Take me with you. That's funny as shit. Damn. Be toxic, yeah. Damn. I hate that shit. You be attracting some. I feel that already. You ain't even. They watch 20? too much love damn. and hip hop. That's oh, that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> right there. When they watch too much love and hip hop, that's a red flag, bro. Because mm-hmm. all they want to do is be toxic. Yeah. I mean, it, they want to act like those bitches on there. I guess you're saying they, they, you know, they feel with drama. Hell yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah they love that, that shit. I get that. I, yeah. I can't see why people watch this shit. That's the number thing when it comes to toxic. When someone is involved around drama and constantly is, is in drama. <sighs> Hell that ain't yeah. got nothing to do with you. <laughs> like, why is That's your life so catastrophic, my nigga? What the Thank fuck? You. Don't bring that into my life. I don't. I, I don't, don't want that. that shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Positive vibes I don't, I don't only. None of that. Yeah. yeah That's it, what it yeah. really boils down to. Especially if you get a certain age, it's like, listen, I ain't got time for none of that shit. Mm-hmm. You yeah. both come to my life to make it better, not worse. You feel me? Wait, this nigga be preaching. That's a fact, man. Niggas think he a preacher. TJ. TD Jakes. Hey. TJ Jakes. Your mom. Like TDJ, you oh, know. Shit. But shit, I mean, even with that though, you know, because there's been so many toxic, you know, situations that have happened just in general where that have required forgiveness. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? We had a situation that popped up. You know, <sighs> we had a situation that popped up that was Ooh, toxic do, as shit. Do tell. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, do, you know, because we was getting on the forgiveness. This yeah. is the thing we, that yeah, we yeah. setting oh. up for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was. Oh, this is great. Zion. Boy, that was do smooth, tell. wasn't it? You want to start? Boy, that was smooth. You want to start about the forgiveness? I love that transition. You like that? that? Yeah, was that's good. The motherfucking uh, shit out of that, didn't it? Yeah, love that. Yeah, it, let's look. go. Let's talk about this, Jesus brothers. Jesus. So how are we gonna start Jesus. this? I mean, no. I mean, it's it was a simple situation, right? You know, uh, I, I mean, I met this girl. We were we're in the same space at the same time. Yeah, I had a whole come through. Yeah, yeah, it was two girls that came through, right? <laughs> two girls came through. One of them was really bad. You fucked that up. Oh, I knew she was a hoe. <laughs> she was it bad. It was something telling me don't fuck. No, nah, that girl was bad as fuck, though. <laughs> was she bad. was so fucking bad, bro. She God bad damn. Bad Are we shit. saying names? Nah, nah, nah. Nah, nah not this nah, time. Nah, not this time. Nah, not this time. Nah, 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 we ain't doing that. You know, I say fuck that, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's this ain't your situation, nigga. No, it ain't your situation, nigga. I know one of them bitches, but go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and then the one. other one, the other one that you weren't talking to, you know, we started talking a little bit and we started dating and shit like that. 
And uh, was she white? <laughs> no, she was not white. Did she look white? She's yes. very fair skinned. Okay, all right. <laughs> white as shit. Casper. Oh, I called her. No, uh, oh, Lord. Yeah, That's cool. Just take the mic off. Just take the mic off. Bro, just take the mic off. Take the mic off the stand. We'll, we'll fix it later. Anyway, nigga. All right, this nigga know how to multitask now. Spell multi. Anyway, um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I got you. But uh, no, so I, we started dating. Um, she got mad. Well, we we ended up breaking up because she, <laughs> I started talking to, to an ex of mine. Mm, I didn't know y'all was together. Yeah, I, I started talking to an ex of mine, uh, and then I don't know. They they had a, a master plan to meet up and confront me. That shit. That shit was hilarious. I'm like, this is the dumbest plan I've make, ever seen. Make sure you tell the whole motherfucker that. Damn, that shit happened at the house? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right in this motherfucker. This very house. Uh-huh. A lot of things happen here. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, so they pull up, whatever, you know, and I, I was like, well, shit, if I had to choose, I, I wasn't choosing the one that the light skin one, the one that I was. The I, white I, one. I, yeah, I wasn't choosing her. <laughs> I was like, up, if bro. I have to choose, I'm not choosing you. And then it, I didn't get I had to edit with any of them to be fair. I, I, there was no way I was going to, but mm-hmm. you know that's what happened, right? So she was mad because I was I, I wasn't even like doing nothing with the ex. I was just like communicating, right? Right. That's all I was doing with that point was just communication. Um, so that came to a head. You know, she was mad. She felt played. I don't know all this shit. It it was a really dumb plan. She could have just talked to me about it. And she, <laughs> she she, she could have just fucking that's, talked to me about the shit but as no opposed to like as, as opposed got, to like plotting to like. Confront me on some shit I didn't actually do anything yet But like I mean damn Like you could have just had a conversation And I got called in the middle of that shit You know what she wasn't doing well, shit But in my room You were just in the chilling. room The ex came chilling. in and yelled at him For some reason I don't know She was just Oh angry. I was home I was Boy I was, she was real close angry. to goddamn but, but that's when all my, my tip My switch was real short Next thing I know You know This nigga moves out I was gone <laughs> the next fucking day Yeah it was really strange You're a very impulsive person um, I told you then In that situation I said bro I don't want nothing to do with this I'm out. <laughs> yeah, he left because I felt like like she stepped to me like this. You ain't you ain't stopping the shit, so I'm out. I, I thought she went in the house, go to the bathroom. Uh, she no, she came right in that damn room. I'm playing. This I didn't know what she came in there for. You know, I, having some quality time to myself. I'm yeah, playing damn. a motherfucking video game. She, yeah. Hey, you bitch ass nigga. I'm I like, didn't know that shit was going whoa, on. Whoa, so. wait a minute. I don't know how you held me responsible for that shit. Nigga? Huh? She called you a bitch ass. Yes. Nigga? She was, everybody was angry that at me apparently, and they took it out on everybody. But, uh, but if, <laughs> apparently, everybody just hated me that day. It was my fault that you know. They, anyway. anyway, but uh, so that happens, right? Next thing I know, um, this nigga, mm. this nigga left. Mm, so he moved out, right? He left. He left, right? He moved out. Yeah, yeah, he left, okay. right? Oh, next um, day, he left mm. and uh, got down. I'm like on Snapchat and shit, and like, why is he hanging out with the other chick, right? What, what other chick? The light skin. The light skin. The white girl. The light skin. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he knows. So this. <laughs> he's so stupid. What right. And so next thing I know, this nigga on Snapchat hanging out. I'm like, what the fuck? So I call this nigga. Just doesn't pick up my calls now. All of a sudden, I'm like, damn, mm. man, what the fuck? Oh, I was mad as fuck. I don't know why he was so mad at me. I didn't tell this bitch to yell at you. I can't control you that. Told her ass to come the fuck down. It was over by the time I knew about it. Bitch, we was in the kitchen. I wasn't in the kitchen. You, we was, you I was outside. Clearly don't remember. I was outside. Go ahead. Go ahead. Anyway. Go ahead. How she, come, how she confront you in your room in the kitchen? That don't make no fucking no, sense. No, the end of it was in the kitchen. Mm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, You don't right. remember that? Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't even Either way, I didn't yell at you. She did. Uh, <laughs> you should have told that. Go ahead. So, so well, next thing I know. Oh, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Next thing I know. You know, whatever that that's going on, right? So I'm I'm sitting there like, oh, these niggas is being shady as fuck, bro. All right, bet. So and so eventually, the light skill would reaches back out to me because she wants to be with me, and so I'm like, I mean, what's up? And then she tells me, oh yeah, we fucked and shit like that. I was like, what the fuck? Why the fuck would this nigga do that shit? And I was Ooh. like, Courtney. I was like, why the fuck would he do that shit? Right. So then I uh. I, we didn't talk for a long time after that. <laughs> we didn't talk for a long time after that because I thought this nigga was a bitch ass nigga and I thought That's he was fine. shady as fuck. That's fine. Why are you fucking behind niggas for no after some shit like that? She only was fucking you because she was mad at me. Get anyway. your shit off, Mikael. But so no, but, but honestly though, honestly though, so that was that was 
a toxic situation that mm -hmm. manifested in several different ways. Yeah. Right. You know. I mean, you have a side of you have you know whatever side you. I mean, want yeah, to I, got my side. I mean, you know, my big I, side of it. I always had the question was, mm -hmm. what was the point of doing that? My side of it, I was like, what was not? What, what was I the point of you, fucking her? She was a hoe. Okay. I was like, why are you trying to date a hoe? Okay. We've had this conversation, so I'm like, she a fucking hoe. Okay. Because I know I got the hoe in the house that bought the other hoe, so it's two hoes together. Mm -hmm. Let's just hold these motherfuckers out. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, she was a hoe. Right, right, right. But I ain't know the whole situation till you told me. Oh, mm -hmm. we was trying to date. I ain't know none of that. Mm -hmm. So, sort of the story, guys. I see. So. so the idea was that you felt mm -hmm. as if, mm -hmm. oh, I you didn't try to date the bitch either. You didn't recognize that there might have been some feelings there. Not at all. Because I know how you are. Or was. Well, I mean, I think at that time, there's definitely some feelings there, for right. sure. So when that shit happened, I was like, what? Come on, bro. Mm -hmm. Of all the bitches you can fuck. Right. This is the bitch you chose to fuck with, bro? I was mad as fuck. And then she bitch tried to come back to me. Bitch, fuck out of here, bro. Hoish. Bitch tried to Movies. come back to me. Because she was like, goddamn, mm -hmm. I still want to mm -hmm. be with you. I was just doing the shit because I was mad, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, all right, well. Fine. That's what she I was like, do. all right, bro. Well. That bitch came back. I mean, but she was scared. Huh? She was I scared, bro. I ain't, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. That bitch was scared. Oh, can I ask you this question? We was gonna, gonna whoop this? her ass. Who you think would have won if they would have gotten in the fight, though? Oh, my ex. She whooped her ass. I thought she would say that. She whooped her ass. I should. I thought she would that say that. That bitch was from Newport News. That bitch was wild. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> that bitch was from Newport News, Virginia. Seven five that seven. Stand up. That motherfucker liked to fight. No, nah, but the thing is, likes to day, fight. Like we went through that situation, which I've known this man since two thousand eight. Somewhere around there. Yeah. Somebody. Yeah. Uh, we met at the company action studio. Mm -hmm. um, with the forgiveness thing, it's like everything that transpired, it was like we wasn't talking for a minute. We mm -hmm. ain't talked for a long fucking time. Yeah. You know, from that situation. And then we, I, don't, I don't know, like we had met up or something. It's like we need, I think you hit me up. We need to talk. I so think that was you. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. I was like, damn. I was like, all right, let's do it. Let's talk. Let's talk about the shit. Mm -hmm. We had shit out and talked about the situation. I ain't know. I thought she was fucking hoe. Like, mm -hmm. You know, no, I knew she was a fucking hoe. I know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. But we hashed it out. We forgave each other, and we've come a long way since then. You know yeah, I saying? mean, her so, life is currently in shambles, but, you know. Oh, it's, it's she got another baby and everything. Yeah, so, her yeah. life is currently in yeah, shambles. it's fucking terrible. A baby? Yeah, two of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can yeah. I tell you why I don't like that hoe? Oh, I'm not under this story. This shit is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Let me tell you, bro. So, you yeah. have to yo shit with uh, him. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it was... Oh, no. Shut up. Yeah. That, this bitch tell me, he, he wanted me to come pick him up from the gas station. My car broke down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why the fuck your car breaking down? It always used to, to break shut down. Shut up. He on, he had the QT on uh, Hudson Bridge. Okay. I go in to look for this nigga. <laughs> I'm like, Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. I'm like, Courtney, where you at, bro? I'm, I'm inside the store. Right. Here go this white bitch. <laughs> Courtney, who is this nigga? <laughs> Jam Pissed. I had no idea who this bitch was, bro. I never seen the bitch a day in my life. And she calling me a nigga and she looked white. That's what made her mad. So Yeah. yeah. I kind of snapped inside <laughs> Inside the quick trip. Fucking hilarious. Not by the hot dogs. Oh, I was by the hot dogs, bro. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I was by the hot dogs. I was side though. Here come, I'm gonna beat that bitch shut ass. up. And then here come his drunk ass. You know that. <laughs> His drunk ass. I wasn't even oh, drunk. It's all right. This is uh, mm -hmm. I ain't gonna say a name, but this is mm -hmm. this is white girl. Right. <laughs> I didn't you say know. what. And now, now we gotta deal with this bitch for like three weeks. Yeah. And then the bitch tried my sister. Oh, Cody about to beat that bitch. We ass. was all about to whoop that bitch ass. Right. She was about to get beat down. Cause of this nigga. Mm -hmm. Oh, it wasn't me. It was you, because you brought the Please bitch Please explain. Around. Oh, I'm about to say, boy. Yeah, yeah I don't got to explain she shit. You brought the bitch no around. Reason. She had a mouth from the, bro. I was talking ready. about, you talking about I toxic. Told, I gave her my address. I said, pull up with them niggas, see what happened. Why did, why did all that shit happen? We was at, what, Fridays? Because this nigga toxic. How did that shit fall apart so fast? That shit didn't happen to me. This was months for me. This is this nigga. This shit fell apart that fast. Because it, it happened. Like, because she was like, who is that nigga talking to me? Like, I said, to my, my dog, you shouldn't have came at him like that. And that's what it was. I said, I was like, if you're going to talk to, especially when she came at Cody, I was like, you picked the wrong motherfucking one. You ain't coming at my family like that. Mm -hmm. That's where it, it fell apart then. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, I ain't got nothing to do oh, with you. All my homegirls. If she was a hoe, why were you trying to date her then? I wasn't trying to date her. I just don't, just, you don't know these people to be talking to them like that. And she just, you know, she had a fucking mouth. Mm -hmm. That's what it was. 
Well, the nigga didn't need to bring that bitch around. <laughs> right. That nigga knew better. Hey, man, he she, knew goddamn She better, was on bro. much better behavior around me, you know. Sometimes. Hey, sometimes it, you know, well, apparently. Sometimes you just got, you know. Apparently, she just was. Just saying. She was acting like a little. Some of us got the touch. Some of us don't. Yes, I guess you know, I ain't yeah, got touch. This nigga don't got no shit. touch. Cause Damn. That, that bitch was wild. <laughs> yeah, nigga. That's right, nigga. <laughs> you said what? <laughs> Caesar Milan, nigga. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's fucked. He, he should have had a tighter leash on her ass. Shit, but I checked her, though. That's like why she that. got mad when I checked her ass. Barely, but you know. You know it wasn't no fucking barely. You know how sweet, uh, I was a short, switch-ass nigga. I don't hit women, but my sister do. <laughs> <laughs> she liked to fight. She was going to drag that bitch. Oh, yeah, she was going to drag her. But, but I'm sorry that shit happened to you, Mikael. You know, that shit. Thank you, man. You know, that shit was terrible. Yeah, it was, it was bullshit. You know, I was wondering why the fuck this nigga moved out. Mm. You know, it just, I had yeah. I crazy. had no idea. This nigga like, oh, I got to move out. I was like, damn, like, nigga. bitch, you just got there, didn't you? This nigga got I yelled at by did. one girl and had to leave. It was like they was boy. Threat. No, they, the threats. <laughs> they were talking about cutting people ties, knocking windows. My off tires, but my tires. Like, <laughs> but I ain't got it. nothing to do with this. With like. No, what if it nobody happened to me? Did nobody did anything. They nobody did. did. They did I, was do just, shit. I got nervous. I'm sorry. I you had, got scared of two girls. Y'all see what toxic Bullshit bitches do to niggas? What? We got to like we got to like some stop saying bitches. We really yeah, got we, to. Yeah, we've been saying a lot. No, of well, episode. you know, yeah, right we, now we really uh, got to. Right now we talking about one. Mitches. I don't give a damn. Oh damn. Right now we talking about one. Wow. You see what she did to these two brothers? God damn. She tried to split these men up. For no reason at all. In the arms of... Damn. <laughs> this nigga had the Preacher <laughs> TJ. <laughs> you know. But yeah, no. It's on the on the forgiveness, too, it definitely took some time. Oh, yeah. To, say, to, to get back. Because yeah. honestly, I didn't think I could trust you. After that. I'm like, this nigga ain't trustworthy, bro. This nigga just fuck who's ever around this nigga. And to be fair, you still fuck people that are just around you. But it's not people that this I fuck. So right. it doesn't matter. <laughs> Fuck people on, it's mind. not about I fucked before, <laughs> so it doesn't fucking matter. I feel like you probably got a story the same way. You don't have one? I got several stories for this thing. Give me, give me one. Give me one. Give me one. Give me one. Give the audience one. Uh, one give, story. Give the normal story, Jay. When I thought she was in a relationship, I said, "Don't, don't do it, man. Go ahead." I Shut up, ho. No, God damn. That one. I was helping him. I, I can't, I can't even do that right now. You can't do it. No. Why I'll not? I can't because. I'll do it. No, 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 no. I'm not telling that one because oh. it's. It's too much going on over here. Over here what? Oh. This li- yeah, I can't do that right now. He said now. your life is in shambles. Oh, I can't, I can't do that right now. So you got right to get, get your household together is, first. My household is, is wonderful. Is it? Oh, good. So can I tell it? Which one are you talking about? Ah, look at it. Look at it. He said, wait a minute. What you mean? What you mean? Like, I don't know. <laughs> what are you talking about? Though? Hold on. We got a time. <laughs> no, no. Ain't no time out, nigga. Ain't no time out, bitch. Ain't no time out. Yeah, it's, it's called it. press pause. This nigga can't even keep up. He can't even keep up with what's going on. Come on, man. We got people listening. All right, we're taking here. I'm gonna see what the fuck you doing. You might as well just say something. <clears throat> I had a young lady mm-hmm. jump in my DMs a few months ago. Oh, go ahead with that shit. Yeah, you go ahead. All That's right. Stupid. A young lady I used to talk to in college, right? Mm-hmm. Asking me where this nigga was because she ain't heard from this. You nigga. still, you was fucking behind niggas for years. I, I oh, knew it. I never touched that girl. I knew it. Fuck no, bro. Hell I, no. I hadn't talked I to her. I hadn't talked to her in like five <laughs> years. And when I see my yeah, DM, I'm like, why the fuck is this? Why is this lady yep. uh, hitting me up? I'll fix it. For you, and sure enough, Courtney's name is in the message. But I ain't touched that girl. That girl crazy. I left her alone after that. But. I heard you had a history what? of ghosting bitches. Why are I mean, you? Women. God damn, I gotta stop. Women. Yeah, we. That's terrible. Yeah, we gotta calm down. With yeah, that's terrible, man. We we gotta come up with it. Like, I know we have like primarily great Dane. a male that audience. Great but Dane. Dane. Great so Dane. What? That's pretty funny. Damn, I just got that. So what made? So what made you talk to this young lady? What What made you? This great Dane. What made you converse with this great Dane? Lady works too. It don't yeah. matter. Woman. Bitch, answer my question. You sure is. Oh, I mean, I I don't know. I really don't know. Huh. But I never did nothing. Oh, I don't, I don't give I a fuck. shit. Why might she hit you? Why would she hit you up, though? Because she knew that I knew you. That that was the connection, nigga. Why did, why did Courtney stop talking to me? Because you crazy, bitch. I'm, Yo, 
Great Dane. Um, Damn. See, it's tough, man. We that's, that, Are we awful people? Mm, might be. Like a little bit? <laughs> Y'all two are. They're Great Dane. What? Boy! This, this nigga only saying that. Just because you married don't mean you got better exactly. female relations than we do. Way I was, do. This motherfucker. <laughs> This great day, <laughs> hey man! I love y'all. Great I days, won. Man. I won the game. Y'all some great, great <laughs> That's games. Fact. That's a fact. That's a fucking yeah, fact. You, you did win you that. Fucking won, nigga. You y'all definitely nigga, fucking y'all did. niggas are still on level five. Damn! How, what, what level, level you, you on? on? Shit, nigga! I'm. I went to the uh, the the the, you press the, the on Warzone. Oh hell yeah! Bro. Oh, okay. You prestige. Can't I can't even go no more. Well, there's no more levels. You huh? can still no more levels. Go. Oh, so you got to figure it out, huh? Nigga, yes. Clearly, oh, okay. I'm just saying, man. I mean, marriage is a lifelong thing, man. No, nah, you'll, 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 you'll never have that shit figured out. <laughs> you never will. It's a, uh, it's a, it's an ongoing job. I've heard that you used to ghost Great Danes all the time, though, bro. I ghosted one. I've heard that there was uh, been more yeah. than one. No, we already talked about it. You, on go, the other you ghosted yeah, the first one. You. No, I no, not like that one with a uh, curry chicken. Well, I talked about that one on the well, yeah, that, you didn't ghost her. You just you left, left her. You just abandoned her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you I just abandoned to, her in another state, bro. I wasn't trying to go to jail. <laughs> you you could have gone to gonna, jail. You could have went to jail bitch. just for driving it, home. Yeah, it fuck? was either jail or death. Like uh, I, I, that nigga was shit. driving home and drunk as shit. That nigga's blood alcohol level was point one. It, it was, <laughs> I know it was up there too. That's when I was on the Paul, Paul PM. That Paulie May, bro. Not I that God Bay. had his hand on me. Bro. Not the red berry. It was probably the goddamn you know, red berry is actually the only flavor that's. I ain't that's never like bought that awful. one. I bought the regular. Oh, yeah, you the are peach. It don't matter. Not the regular, bro. The regular and the peach. Mm-hmm. Well, you you had a, you. Mm-hmm. Well, you had have have it's like a wino, bro. So I had drinking Mad Dog. What, what mm-hmm. made me start buying Wild I, I Irish guess it was Rose? It was Thirteen dollars, and that's all I could afford at that time. I was like, that's the one. That's my drink. Man, I would rather you drink taco than drink that. Damn. Yeah. I'd rather you drink Taka. I don't know. Was bo- I guess Paulie May had a glass bottle, though. So. I mean, Paulie May would get you there. Oh, it definitely does. Got you there. It gives you a headache My immediately. Homeboy still if I shit. smell Paulie May, I'm going to have a headache. Oh, I look at the bottle. I'd be like, damn, I was a drunk ass motherfucking damn. You know? Why was I drinking that? No, I don't drink Parmesan. So where are you at now? Like, what, Let's think about this. Where are we at now as far as like. You know, how I was about to say I got some James in there. I thought, thought no, you were talking about looking. No, no, <laughs> you you've made more money now. You can do that. You can buy better alcohol. But I'm saying, like, where are we at now as far as like you know how we deal with these things as they come up, right? Because I feel like a lot of times my talking response, about in all situations. Yeah, because I feel like for me, you know, how I would deal with some of these toxic situations was probably also toxic. Like I would meet toxicity with more toxicity. toxicity. You know what I'm saying? I would. Uh, I would just meet. I like fuck it. I guess we here, nigga. I'll get down to the mud with you. You, you gotta yeah, get. You I gotta know. get out of it, bro. And that's the thing. You bro. have to. But go ahead. Go ahead. You, and, you 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 have because it, at our age, bro, if you stay in some toxic shit, bro, like then you you ain't going no goddamn way, bro. Your ass is stuck. Yeah. You don't want to be stuck. It, it, you you got choices, bro. You got choices. You're not you're not locked down. You're not married. Yeah. You could leave. Just yeah. fucking leave. Yeah. It ain't going to affect your life. That's a fact. Yeah. If you, you might yeah. think it will, but it's really not. Right. When you're in it, you always feel like this, this yeah, could be so it's, difficult. Yeah, it's really not. Because once you leave and you look back on it, you're going to be like, nigga, I wasted two extra months that I could have been single and out Doing here chilling else. and right. writing a script. Building you shit. Know you know, like. Been at Poetry Cafe, slinging yeah. dick like you. Yeah. yeah. Singing this John, nigga was selling dick at the Poetry Cafe. Singing, That's one y'all Selling about. dick. Singing John Legend Where did I shit? sell dick? I don't know, man. I heard some things at the Poetry Cafe, I man. I sang at the Poetry Cafe. I did some poetry. That's selling dick, basically, bro. It? it is, man. Something you know I, what you I was fucking to doing. Do. You was pandering like a motherfucker. You was calling everybody in there queen, weren't you? <laughs> Look at your raggedy ass. <laughs> I was going through my Neo Soul thing. I still write. Well, you was a whole hotep up. nigga, bro. You was out here I still just write spitting all the hotep game, bro. Hey, right, man. You was talking like a half five percenter. I was still me though. I yeah. Just wrote poetry and started playing the guitar. Was out here lighting incense in the house. Never did that. <laughs> <laughs> I, wrote, I lighted candles though. You lighted candles, yeah, huh? I lit, I lit candles though. How many candle lit dinners did you have in that time span? About four hundred. <laughs> Damn. Bruh. I mean, I'll say about with a good that same frozen tilapia. <laughs> I would say about two hundred. Two hundred. I That's was a, a lot, lit ass nigga, you know. We're gonna do something special. I don't do this all the time. You was lying like shit. Look at your toxic ass. <laughs> this nigga lighting. Damn. Look at you. Look at him. He's thinking, ah, I did say that. I, I don't do this all the time. Meanwhile, all the time, 
was happening every day. Look at I you. mean, yeah. every other weekend. Boy. Mm, mm. Maybe yeah. every every other weekend. Sometimes. Well, you was too. you was making it feel so special. I mean, you know. You know. I was always late on shit. That was my thing. That's for damn sure. I was always late drinking, smoke. I was always late. That is a fucking fact. It happened. Look, I, was a, I was a fucking angel. He was fucking. Like, I was in a fucking cage. My mama had me in a cage, so it was like I was always catching up on shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So That nigga should be like, no, Jay, don't curse. I, I, ain't, <laughs> I ain't shut the fuck up, nigga. I ain't do none of that shit, bro. I ain't say- Why would I you say flag. that? I ain't do all that. I was like, I'm like, I, I was a fucking angel, bro. I'm going to send a picture. We're going to put this up. You saw the, the picture you sit. <laughs> on the about? group chat, this dude, this Jason. Oh, that man, boy, I'm glad you didn't put We're it. gonna we're gonna put this picture no, up Ms. on this video. Miss Neller put her. that shit up. I was like, why would she do that to me? <laughs> he looks like the nigga who oh, I look a fucking Poindexter, bro. <laughs> Hairline back here. I had a fucking shirt on, big ass fucking. I'm like, what am I? What was I thinking? He almost don't even look like himself. Uh, like I look lady. totally different. I was like, bro. Uh, like it, it was, it was bad. Boy, bro. you looked like a promise ring giving ass nigga. Bro. I did, bro. I, I looked like lie, that, that one lame ass nigga that just <laughs> didn't do shit. I was like, bro, I've come a long way. You've come a long way, man. You no longer way, giving bro. promise rings. Man. Used to hide you still be running way. behind bitches, but you know you don't be giving promise rings. Run behind point. no damn women. Great, 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 my bad, man. Damn, nigga, yes you do. Uh oh, y'all know this is the most. Never mind. I'm the most what? What? You just. Come on now, truthful ass nigga. You truthful, you know. but you just hype situations where you don't gotta be hype. So he'll run behind nobody no more. That's what he's saying. That's what I he's don't. saying. Do we agree with this? Do you agree with this? I don't. Fuck I don't no. tell y'all shit no more. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like we just gotta find it's not, out. It's not even that reason. It's like when you get to a certain like we talk about this relationship shit. Right. So some your boys don't gotta know everything. That's you true. Know what I'm saying that's like, true. But when you see that you know I'm I'm in a happier place or I'm doing things, it's like. Then I'll tell you. You know what I'm saying? We working some shit out right now. All right. That's all. You know what I'm saying? I, okay. I learned how to shut my mouth. I was talking too much. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying? When you vent, you vent to your boys. You know what I'm saying? Right, Either right, they going right. to be worried about you, they're not going to give a fuck about you. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So right. I just learned how to be quiet about it until it get better. You know okay. That's well, let's do I'm this at. then. Let's I just want this. you to know niggas be worried. Oh, I know. I know. Well, let's I do this then. Ain't, ain't we'll, where I'm supposed we'll, to be right now, but We'll wrap up the toxic relationship series like this then. We'll, we'll, mm-hmm. we'll, we'll get a temperature check. We haven't done a temperature check in a long time, right? Temperature check. You know what I'm talking about? Scale of 1 to 10. How are you mentally? Oh, damn. We did it in a minute. That's in why a I minute, forgot. Bro. In a minute, bro. So we'll go down the line. Just stop watching this fuck football, bro. It's this nice. in the middle. Yeah. Nah. Nah. <laughs> We'll start here. We'll, we'll end over here. So go. Where you at? Till the one to ten. Where you at mentally, bro? Mentally. Uh, shit. I'm gonna be honest, man. I'm at a solid four point self. God damn. What's going on? What the fuck? Four point self. That's very specific number too. Well, what's got you at a four point seven? Man? I don't want to talk about. All right. Wow. All right. On a podcast, I don't want to talk. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> Your turn. I'm at a six. You had a six. Damn, yeah. I thought you were gonna say solid eight. Or wow, man, that's not that's not as it's high. It's because you tired. We're getting a lot of lot lot of lot of D's, lot of D's and F's over Dempton here right now. His I'm, ass. I'm tired and I'm thinking about tomorrow. I don't get off. <laughs> See, it's it's always you. about work I for this man. I told you, I don't get off to that's about why. ten, bro. That's why I don't know how the fuck I'm about to do that. And then I I got this drink. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have a headache oh, yeah, in the morning, still, bro. Oh, I thought I didn't finish that shit. Oh damn, the light. It looked like it's. It still look like shit in there. Yeah, I do. <laughs> but, boy, it's going to be hell tomorrow. Right. But it's all good. Yeah. I feel it's that. Well, you so, MK? So, all, <laughs> this nigga's mental state is all about his work day tomorrow. <laughs> that's hilarious. Bro, that's, bro. it feel like that's all I do, bro. Yeah. My off days, bro. What you be doing? They, I got Sleep. the baby. Yeah. And then they be they be over with in 10 minutes, bro. What's it? It's my that, mama. One second. That Wednesday, yeah. Thursday, yeah, that should be over with in, in in about ten seconds. Yeah, weekend's probably never long enough for you. It's not the weekend. That's it's the oh, weekday. Oh, it's your off days. I'm sorry. It's your off days. My fault. My fault. It's terrible, bro. Damn. I hate them. I'm glad I chose progressive. Good. Yeah. Facts. facts. I've been pissed. I'd have been real miserable. But you was gonna be in the call center though, right? Yeah, but still. 
That's not the same thing. I don't it's know. Not. That's very different, bro. <laughs> nah, that schedule that they was talking about, I was like, ah, oh, I can't fuck with that schedule. That's he, it was he was going to have an evening shift, bro. Oh, okay. he didn't want to do the evening shift. Like, I don't work too many of them. In the call center. No, but yeah. still, it's different, bro. <laughs> shit, I would have did that Reservations? Shit all day. <laughs> <Portland> speaking. I've <laughs> 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 been on that shit all day. Fuck that nigga. My goddamn. I don't know what the fuck I did to my thumb yesterday, bro. But I fucking grabbed a bag, mm. and that bitch pulled something, bro. Damn. I don't know what happened. That shit just be hurting. My goddamn. <laughs> and my goddamn. That boy breaking down, bro. Hey, <laughs> Yo. I feel like Brian, bro. My goddamn knees. Damn. My knees. I'm 36. I'm 36. <laughs> 36. <laughs> no goddamn knee. I need a new knee pad. Amazon. Boy. That's where I got these from, nigga. <laughs> So they ain't do shit A month ago Now I need more You got them on right now? Yes, Courtney I you got really? them on now Stupid ass <laughs> I mean, do look like uh, Do look like No, I feel that, man Where you at, MK? Um, where I'm at right now I'm actually in a Pretty good space Mentally, man so, You know I'm probably at like a, If not like Probably around a 7.58 so I'm getting up there. That's solid. You know, That's solid. I'm getting up there. You know, there's a lot of stuff I got to do still. So I'm always consumed with like the thoughts of just like what's the next task to complete. Right. You know, next um, venture. Yeah, but overall, man, like I'm I'm doing a little better. You know, I was having some fucked. If you asked me this shit last week, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I got you. But this week, I'm cool. doing all right. Hey, both of y'all numbers should be higher because both of y'all niggas got movies on Tubi. I appreciate that. That is true. You know, y'all ain't should we, say should we promote. We didn't. Hey, speaking you of which, know. go check out new movie. It's out right now on Tubi TV for free, man. It takes I two seconds it. to sign up, man. Girls get away gone wrong. You will see me as Eddie, the uh mysterious DJ. Who done it? Who knows? It could have been me. Who it could have been anybody. Shit. But check good, that shit bro. out. All right. Download that, stream that, whatever you're gonna do, and like that shit too, man. Get us get us My up on them rankings, up. man. Hey. And, then, you know, bro. And CG, you know, you, you got some shit out. You got two things out there right now. I got two movies on. You got two things on there. What you got out there right now? Aftermath out there. You know, go check it out. Aftermath. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Nina Stacks, aka Candace Banks. She hate when I say that. She and used to make us look crispy here. Yes, mm-hmm. she did make us look she crispy, mm-hmm. crispy before. Now, what is it? New Year, New Us on there. Yeah. Um, that's about it. That's, that's two. Yeah, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, yeah. Right now, yeah, I got and some more shit coming out. Shit, you know? don't just don't forget we got we get clout coming out too. We have oh, we have fuck. a project together that's gonna come Fucking out clout. on two B two. What next year? Sometime we need to sometime out next when the year. Fuck she gonna put this so show. So just yeah. stay on lookout for that. But check out all these great, beautiful films with black people, man. Celebrating black excellence, man. I think that's probably. Oh, and some, Dirty Days was on uh, the set too. What you you was on? Was you just came through after Matthew? Oh, that was the. Other one we did, never mind. That was yeah. the other one. He always says. <laughs> he always is. I thought she was. Always. That was the other but one. Shit, I, man, I, I, like... through, I was like, what up? I didn't know she was going to beat her. Right. But shit, man. I mean, we, we've kind of gone through all the toxic things we could we could think about. We've kind of br- brought them through a journey yeah. through, through the day, I yeah, guess man. you would say, man. And honestly... You know, on the comments, man, let us know, man. Let us know some of some of the stuff y'all got going on. You know, some of the toxic situations y'all overcame, man. Definitely DM us, yeah. uh, uh, comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. Because, I mean. Y'all think we missed something. It's all, hey, man, we all got to support each other on this stuff, man. We all learn from each other. You feel me? And uh, shit, man. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much for joining us again on another episode of the Mud Political Podcast. We do this once a week. Don't forget to follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, the Google Play Store, YouTube. Please. Don't forget the YouTube. Subscribe. Give us five Back stars. Up. If you give us four stars, what are they? Trying to be a hater. hater. <laughs> fucking haters. <laughs> give us Cloudy five stars. <laughs> like I said, y'all, we do this once a week, and we'll see y'all next week. Peace.